what is up YouTube it's your boy the franchise guy come back at you again with another episode and a very late episode of Madden 19 my career featuring your boy Chance Bishop the defensive end who shocks the world I mean he's got the single season sack record I'm pretty sure by now I mean right now we're taking on the Chiefs Patrick Mahomes so there's definitely going to be some Kermit the Frogs getting rattled. I mean, if he's Kermit the Frog, then technically my guy's going to be Miss Piggy. He's just going to go after Mahomes the entire game. Yeah, Travis Kelsey doing something. I'm feeling comfortable watching that. But, uh, what a day in football that we got. Who do we have this week? We have the Pro Bowl this week coming up. I mean, Malcolm Jenkins, Fletcher Cox, Wayne Johnson. For the Eagles, I think there's another. I think Jason Kelsey may have been a Pro Bowl. I don't know. He, I think he had snubbed for Pro Bowl, but he made the All Pro. Like he always does. I don't really know anymore. I mean, football's weird. I mean, this entire season has been weird with, you know, catches and what's a QB hit. And talk about QB hits. We're going to sack Mahomes. What is that? Third and 18 now on second, second and 10. We sack him. You know, rocking those 99 overall cleats. Chance Bishop, just a force of nature. We thought J.J. Watt was good when he was, you know, all the way healthy. But Chance Bishop is like J.J. Watt, Lawrence Taylor on steroids. You know, that sheds the block and just goes through Mahomes. First and 10 on the 49-yard line. I'm gonna shed the block up. There's a fumble, and I don't think I'm going to get it, but I know Gal um, Galipo, Galipo. That guy, whoever that guy is, the white guy next to my, next to Bishop, he's gonna get it. You know, second and nine on the 46 yard line, gonna get a running play in there. Look at that. People said Chance Bishop doesn't get involved in the run enough, sheds the tackle and stuffs the running back for a yard loss. I mean, if this man doesn't have the career tackles for loss record, look at that. Of another forced fumble right there, a sack fumble. This time the offensive line gets it. Look, okay, I got Bishop taunting Mahomes right there. And look, look at this. You can't, you can't stop this. Look at that. Look at that spin move he puts on him. Legally tack tackles him by the waist. Look at that. Grabs him and lets, just lets his own momentum take him down. You know, doesn't, doesn't lean into him, doesn't lean with the head or anything. Look at that. He just doesn't have speed. Just chases Mahomes down. Gets the sack. Brings up for a big six-yard loss. 40th sack of the season. I mean, at the rate Chance Bishop is going, if he doesn't get 50 sacks by the time this season's over, it's going to be let down a season, because he's getting sack after sack. Look at this, his fourth sack of the game. And yes, I am playing on all-pro difficulty. I have readjusted the sliders for offensive line blocking. That's one thing I've done. I'm just getting some good jumps right now, and these are... Oh, we're doing that. Just sets up the run we're doing. I'm exploiting the games. I guess I'm not exploiting the game for a fifth sack of the season. I'm calling plays in which the right tackle has to choose between whether to block me or the defensive tackle. And if they block me, the defensive tackle doesn't always get there, but he kind of disrupts the pass. But if he blocks the defensive tackle and the running back glitches out like he did right there, I get a sack. So, I mean, it's as long as the patch updates go, as long as, you know, look at that. See, right tackle goes for defensive tackle right there. And I get the sack for a six sack of the game. But, uh, I mean, the patch updates have, you know, affected it kind of. I know uh, the free safety blitz when Madden came out was broken, where if you user the right end, so what position I'm playing right now, and you pulled him all the way to the right, kind of where it cuts you off. And when the quarterback snapped the ball, the right tackle, or the, the right tackle, you have to use the left end. The right tackle would go for the defensive tackle, and you were pretty much clear for a sack. So I'm pretty much sure that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just finding plays that work. I don't always run that play. I just run that play, you know, a decent amount of times. Get some sacks here and there. But taking on the Giants, who are wearing these all red jerseys. Look at these jerseys. These are some nice jerseys. As an Eagles fan, I'm not a big fan of the Giants. Do I respect some Giants players? Yeah, I respect Eli Manning. I mean... He's technically, in theory, a Hall of Famer. But look at this. 
We clinched the wild card there, 12 and 1, only the wild card we've clinched so far. Giants are now the wild card, uh, Cowboys are in the hunt. I mean, this is gonna be a, a scary division though. Yeah, Richie James right now returning kicks. You know, his one return for 23 yards. Third and four right now. James Bishop going to sack Grimes right now. Force the fumble. And our guy's going to get up. And I think we're going to end up kind of stopping him from returning it. But Gallipo gets the fumble recovery. It's just disrupting this offense. This Giants team has never really had a good offensive line. I know we got a bunch of sacks off. I don't know where our career sack numbers are. I wish I kind of kept track of this. Look at that, another sack, his second sack of the game, 45th sack of the season. I mean, at the rate he's going, if he doesn't get 50, as we get our 46th sack, the third of this game, it's going to be like that of a season right there, it really is. How are we going to get 46 sacks in the season, have two and a half games left, and not get four more sacks? Well, I guess three more sacks right now. As you get that Brian Dawkins sack right there, jumps on his back, brings him to the ground. And I mean, I know personally playing this game in earlier episodes, like the first five, ten episodes, I was not having a lot of fun playing this game. I wasn't getting playing time, and I was playing, I just wasn't getting tackles or anything. But, uh, it's a little stab at this, said, Eagles had five sacks, and I have all five of their sacks right there. Look at that. Just pushing them down, not even, like, jumping them, just pushing them. Look at that, another fumble. This time, the uh, Fletcher Cox picks that in the air. Way to go, Fletch. I mean, he's still around. There's a lot of guys in this team that are still around. I'm kind of surprised they're still around. I mean, Brandon Graham's still in this team. Fletcher Cox is still in this team. Uh, I think Nigel Bradham and Jordan Hicks are both on this team. I know Jenkins and McLeod both left. They pick up a half sack right there, switch with Bradham. That was a little bit dirty. We kind of drilled him a little bit with our helmet. We got seven sacks on the game. Look at that. Oh boy, here we come again. Eighth sack on the game. Allowed by the Giants. Our six and a half sacks right there. And we're just a defensive juggernaut. We got seven sacks on the game. We're seven and a half. Technically, if we go technical, 50th sack of the season. And if we're not, if we don't retire early due to some blown out injury like we destroy our knee or we rupture a disc on our back we will go down as the greatest pass rusher of all time that's a little dirty right there i mean we kind of got him on a the shoulder pad but you know we have these modern day refs in madden 19 so they don't see plays like that you know plays that are blatantly roughing the passer you know some horse collar face mask going on. We don't we don't get those called because uh the refs are refs are great, you know. I saw this one I saw this one meme. It was saying you should make all the refs in the NFL female because they don't miss anything. I'm pretty sure it was a young lady that tweeted that out on Twitter actually. But uh that was a good one. I got a laugh out of that one thinking like you know it's kinda of what my mom does. If I do anything slight everything's slightly off place, my mom knows exactly what's wrong and I get yelled at for it. And just saying. But right now, take on the Atlanta Falcons. Julio Jones dropping passes. Probably doesn't have any touchdowns in the past three seasons. I think we're on season, what, number four? Yeah, we're definitely, I think, I'm almost guaranteed we're on season number four right now. And, uh, look at that. I'm not sure, I can't remember who the head coach for Atlanta is. But I know he's still there. I'm not really sure who's left on the Atlanta Falcons. I'm pretty sure Matt Ryan and Julio Jones are probably the only ones left. Maybe Austin Hooper. Got Matt Ryan going out there. And look at that. Matt Ryan throwing an interception. Third and long. Swat Cravens. I'm really liking Cravens right now. He's got four interceptions on the season. He's not as good as last season. Last season, he like blew up for like eight interceptions. It was insane. It was like every game he was getting a pick. Sometimes two. That yeah, Matt Ryan... Feel the thunder right there. Chance Bishop gets a sack right there. You know, first play of the new set of downs. Forces a 10-yard loss. Does a little robot right there in the snow game. I mean, these Eagles fans love Chance Bishop. Chance Bishop loves playing Philadelphia. If there's ever a reason for Chance Bishop to ever leave Philly, 
it would tear him apart. Or he might just pull Brian Stork and retire because of it. Yeah, that first and ten going into the half. Intercepted. I'm not entirely sure who's number 28 right there. That's not Cravens again, is it? I'm not entirely sure who 28 is. Right there, Matt Ryan does another interception, his second of the game. Going into halftime right now. As we lead 17 to nothing. They have negative 19 passing yards. They lose 1.2 yards of play. Uh, the Falcons themselves also have one takeaway. So that's decent for them, I guess. I mean, it's not this Eagles team which has taken away the ball what, twice this game. Look at this. Ryan Tannehill is the sixth touchdown game for the Chargers. Melvin Gordon, Keenan Allen still there. And that Dak Prescott, four touchdowns for him. That's an offensive showdown right there. That's Detroit for Pittsburgh. Ben Roethlisberger has to be at least 40 years old. Still in the black and gold. I mean, look at that. We got Redskins, Seattle. In Landover, uh, Burden versus Wilson. I mean, Seahawks kind of suck, kind of overrated right there. Burton, though, that's a good game. Dice also a great game. 22 attempts, you know, for eight, you know. Then they just end the game. Yeah, we ended up winning 31 to nothing. Probably only had one sack that game. That was the only highlight. So it's kind of weird that I cut it like that. Don't really know why. Uh, but getting into the final game of this 2021 20, season, because uh, you got 2018, 29, you got, yeah, 20, 18, 19, 19, 20, 21, 22. So this is the 2021 season. I guess that's what the, I think we're in 2021. Not entirely sure, but next episode I'll probably figure out what season we're on, because that's how the Super Bowl. I know we won the Super Bowl the year before, I think. I don't really know anymore. I've officially, you know, just run out of, you know, ideas of what's happening here. Look at that. 14-1, 13-game winning streak. That's a shame, though. Look at that. We, we could have had a perfect season. I mean, it could have been perfect. It could have been our year to go, you know, 18-0. I'm kicking off to, look at this guy, Barclay, Barclay, Barkley, it's Barclay, I'm not entirely sure how you even say that name, but look at that, first and ten, getting his ball to Saquon Barkley, and we're going to get him from behind, four solid or loss of yards right there, three yard loss, I mean, for an the tackle, I don't think you get credit for some of these tackles, he's like, gang tackles, it's kind of upsetting, fourth and one, this is what ch got Chance Bishop paid the first time. A blocked punt. Already up 14 to nothing. This is a slow game so far. We're already in the second quarter. I mean, I mean, we can't ha always have these monstrous, you know, five, six sack games. Those games definitely helped. We definitely had at least four six sack games this season. I get a user sack right here. Chance Bishop. First of the game in the third quarter. This little jig right there, you know. Get these Eagles fans pumped up for another another repeat performance going back to the playoffs. And we're going to force the safety. We push him just enough into the end zone. I'm surprised we didn't get a roughing the passer because we went for the ankles that time. We're up 30 to nothing with five and a half, like five, just six minutes left. And we're getting the ball back. Oh, boy. Three minutes left in the game. Look at that. And another safety. He doesn't learn from the last time to throw it away. Chance Bishop does the L dance right there on him. Gets his second for safety of the game. I mean, that's four points that the defense scored right there. I mean, look at that. He doesn't even try to throw it away. He doesn't even try to, you know, get away from Bishop. He just runs to the back of the end zone. Look at that. Bishop just hawks him down. Look at his little leap he does. His little bull rush leap. Gets him by the ankle again. But if you guys like this episode, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys miss an episode, if you guys took the pledge down below. We are four seasons deep into this. Next episode, we'll be back in the playoffs. We've been in the playoffs every year. That's always a great thing to have. But definitely, guys, if you like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Always appreciate it. Peace out. Rock on, YouTube.